back guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a Jesus video about how to trust God, how to say yes to God, how to follow the will of God, just all of those things put together. I just put this title because I feel like it wraps everything I'm going to be talking about into one title. So anyways, that's what we're going to be talking about today and I hope it encourages you some way. So let's hop into the video. So we're going to be talking about how to trust God, how to say yes to what God is asking us. And after I graduated high school, I really had to do that a lot with a lot of different decisions that I had to make. What I had planned for my life was good. It wasn't bad at all. It just wasn't the best possible thing for me. And I really had to take a step back figure out what God wanted for me, what his plan was for my life. My experience kind of reminds me of this picture. If I can find it, I'll put it right here, but it's just of Jesus holding a bear, and it's a huge bear. But then there's us, and we're holding a bear, but it's a really small bear. And Jesus wants to give us the big bear if we give him the small bear. And I feel like that's just a representation of this season that I was going through where I had a good idea for what I wanted to do with my life. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't the best. And I really had to trust God to give him a small bear and have him give me the big bear. And obviously I'm so glad that I did that because I wouldn't be where I am today. <laughs> a few months ago, back in January, I posted this thing on Instagram um, just about what the results were because I said yes to God and because I made decisions and followed his leading that wasn't very popular but it was the best for me and this is what I wrote back in January. As I'm driving to school thinking about Authentic last night, that's the youth group that I lead at, I'm just absolutely stunned and amazed at where God has brought me. I never in a million years thought that by the time I was 18, I would be leading worship, helping lead an entire youth group, and working as an administrator for my church, all while going to a Bible college. That's what happens when you say yes to God. He stretches you and grows you in ways you could have never imagined. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else than where I am today. Thank you, God, for taking me along this journey and giving me so many opportunities to serve you. And just reading that, that's where my life is now because I didn't want to be normal. I didn't want to be like everyone else at my high school. I knew that God had a plan for me. People have been telling me that my whole life. People prophesied over me, those types of things. Just I knew I was made for something big and I didn't want to settle for less, but I had to trust God through this entire process. And I want to help you do the same thing. I want to see you reach your full potential. And I feel this way so much about the girls that I mentor and minister to because I know that there's so much that God wants to do in them. And I just want to see them unlock that. I want them to trust God enough to give them their small teddy bears so that he can give them a big teddy bear. I want to see every one of you guys experience that, so I want to help you with that today. Some of you may be watching this video and you're not even sure what you have to say yes to God for or what you have to trust God with and you're not sure what the will is for your life. And if you're in that place, we all know, obviously, the Great Commission, Matthew 20 and 19 and 20, tells us that we all have the responsibility to make disciples of every nation, wherever we are. So that is the will of God for your life. And since you know that, each person has a different way of how that looks like for them. And for me, obviously, it's with youth, it's with girls, it's with talking to you guys on YouTube, and that may not be the same for you, which is completely fine. That's how we were created, and we were created differently and uniquely, so that's what it is for you. That's the will of God for you, so if you're having a hard time following Jesus and being bold about your faith and wanting to share that, then that's where you can trust God. That's where you can give up your small teddy bear of a comfortable, normal life 
and you can give it to God and God will give you this amazing, thrilling, but difficult life with him where we get to share Jesus with everyone. So that might be where you're at right now. However, some of us are already following Jesus. Some of us are already in ministry. We're already sharing the gospel and all that. Maybe we just have a specific situation that we can't trust God in. And I've shared this at my youth group before, but I always was following Jesus. I just had one area that I couldn't trust God in, and that was with boys. I just never <laughs> wanted to trust God with that. I thought I knew what I needed in a future husband, because I was thinking about that so young <laughs> and I thought I knew what I needed in a man but obviously I never know because God's always right and I'm just human. I really had a lot of opportunities to trust God in that area. If you're taking notes, I'm a note taker, but if you're taking notes, take notes. One of the ways that I learned to trust God is by surrounding myself with people that also trust God and want the best for me. I had a few girls throughout high school that were all older than me and they really took a lot of time to invest in me, to give me the hard truth, to just tell me how it is and they also encouraged me and pushed me more towards Jesus and I am so grateful for them because I wouldn't be where I am today without them. I think that's really important, especially if you have a specific area that you're trying to trust God in and you just can't do it. Surround yourself with people that love you, that care about you, that want to see God's potential fulfilled in your life and they can help you do that. So the next thing that helped me overcome my lack of trust in God with boys is I had to make little decisions day by day that I was going to trust him. It didn't come in one big decision, but it was a bunch of decisions every single day that led me to fully trusting God with boys, with relationships and all of those things. So if you have an area like that and you just can't trust God in Sometimes it does take a while. It's a process. We're all works in progress, but it's okay if it takes a while. Just always be making progress, always be moving forward. And I think that's definitely what I had to do. I started with not talking to this boy or I ended up starting to talk to a boy and I stopped talking to a boy. And all of those little decisions led me to fully trusting God and making bigger decisions and then I finally came to a place where I fully trusted God with it. The last thing that I did to completely trust God is I just made a decision that whatever he asked me to do, I would do. Because I know he's good and everything he has for me is good and it won't harm me. His plans are to prosper me like it says in John 29, 11. He always has my best interest in mind and I had to make a decision that no matter the ridicule, no matter the <laughs> disappointment, no matter what I had to walk through, I had to trust him. And it's super important that you make that decision and you write it down <laughs> that you're going to trust God no matter what. And it may be a slow process. But at least you're making progress and you're moving forward. I'm going to read this first. It's 2 Samuel 7:28. It says, Sovereign Lord, you are God. Your covenant is trustworthy and you have promised these good things to your servant. God has so many good things for you. His plans are to prosper you, to fulfill you. There's so much potential in you. And maybe the reason why you're not reaching that potential yet is you haven't trusted him fully. And I think that was definitely the case for me. And once I trusted God with every relationship, every life decision I had to make, that's when everything just started to open up and doors just started to open and things just started to get unlocked and it all worked out. And it's because I finally let go and let God. So I hope this all encourages you. 
I know it's a little bit of a mess. It was hard for me to organize my thoughts, but I wanted to get it out there and to just encourage you. And if you ever need any encouragement, like I was talking about surrounding yourself with people that can encourage you, I can totally encourage you. I'd love to just comment down below, DM me or something. I'd love to help you out because we're not meant to do life alone and we're meant to have people that support us and encourage us and care about us and will push us to our fullest potential. And I can be that for you if you want. But other than that, I love you guys. I hope you reach your fullest potential today and you learn to say yes to God. Let me know of any other video requests you have for me, any more things you want to talk about, Jesus things you want to talk about. Just let me know what they are. I will see you guys next Wednesday with a new video. Bye, guys. Hey, and I hope it encourages you. I want to see you reach your full potential. I had so many friends throughout high school. Well, not. <laughs>